Peace and bliss. Welcome back to Reclaiming Our Roots. My name is Tanya and I am at the community farm and I just want to pop in and show you all my harvest for today. I was going to bring you all along but it is sweltering hot out here and I did not want to uh, take you all down uh, three and a half rows, three and a half, 200 feet rows. So I figured I would spare you and spare me. <laughs> But this is everything that I harvest today. As you can see, we have some cucumbers here. Some cucumbers that set a little too long on the vine. Ideally, you want to pull them around this size. Maybe a little bit bigger where they're nice and green. But these set on the vine a little too long, so they're probably going to be better. And I will put them, add them to my worm compost bin. So, so we have some okra in here. Um have some large size this is ideal I think I have a couple in here that are longer than this and ideally you don't want your okra to get too long because you don't want it to be hard and woody so let me take you all over to the garden and just kind of give you all a quick rundown on what we've been experiencing as of late um, we haven't had a good downpour in probably a good week they were calling for rain on saturday and sunday but unfortunately we did not receive it so when we receive it i will be happy so either way it go we still have to water the ground the plants so i installed a hose so i can bring it's a 100 foot hose i bring it down each row and i water the plants i gave them a good watering today although it does not look like it Okay, so as you can see, we have lots and lots of tomatoes coming in, okra coming in, everything is starting to come in. Um, we are encountering another issue with the critter. As you all recall, we put Irish Spring down as a deterrent. Well, that's been over a month or so, so it has since evaporated and lost its power. So now we need to bring out some more Irish Spring to keep the critters out because they took out two of my squash, two of my squashes that were on the vine. And um, I wasn't happy about that. And they also bit into one of my melons. I'm gonna take you all down to the melon patch. See that beautiful blossom? See the okra? Beautiful. But I notice everything is kind of slow to grow this year. Um, gardening in ground is new for me. As many of you all know, I'm a container gardener. So this is a new endeavor that I've taken on this year. But I notice things are slow to grow. I'll give, I'll, um, I'll do an update, a garden tour of the container garden. And you can compare the tomato plants and the container garden compared to the ones here in ground and the ones at home are like thriving. Yep, so it kind of is what it is. Oh my gosh, I missed this pepper plant. I did harvest some peppers off of this one. As you can see, it is prolific. It is loaded with peppers. So I'll get that on the next one. I did have a concern with pollinators out here, but I no longer have that issue, okay? pollinators are abundant out here which is a beautiful thing because we need the pollinators to pollinate the plants so that is no longer a concern of mine we have a butter what is this buttercup yeah buttercup squash coming in on the vine got watermelons out here sweet potatoes and i brought out some covers because like i said a critter ate one of my melons and you, will, you only have to do that to me once, right? So I brought some of the uh, watermelon covers out to cover all of the watermelons and melons. And I have a really large one over here. It's too big for the sack, but I did just kind of fold it over to protect it. You can see there. And these are all melons. Melons are coming in nicely. And I have one little squash on the, on the squash plant here. I had two large ones that they took out. As a matter of fact, I posted those on Instagram. I was just happy. I knew I was going to harvest those two large squash, but 
putting in the cards. It's my basil. And this here is a pickling cucumber plant. One of my cucumber plants I had to discard because it died, so I had to pull it up. As you can see my watermelon patch. See my watermelons coming in. I'm pleased. A couple over there. And this here is squash. And not just any squash. This is the Kushaw squash. Thanks to Mrs. Homestead Hart. I learned about the Kushaw squash on her channel. And I was finally able to get my hands on some seeds. We got a Kushaw coming in, y'all. And I have a couple of them out here. A couple of plants out here. And I think this is another one. Tomato plant here. The marigold. have another watermelon plant. I think this is cantaloupe. Oh yeah, I think these are cantaloupe. Yep. We have more watermelon here. Watermelon here. And more watermelon here. There it is. Sweet potato plant. And over here we have another cucumber plant. It's sprawling over here. Watermelon plant coming in. I mean, another watermelon coming in on mine. So, yeah. This is what it's looking like out here. As you get further up, you can see it gets a little thick. More watermelons. There's a little baby one. I ran out of the, the coverings, so I'm going to order some more. And if you're interested, I got them online at Amazon. I have some squash here, squash here squash here squash here and I believe this is a patty pan squash and more melons more melons get that covered up but yeah it's looking good you can really get a good view from the melons this way I am pleased. More squash, squash, more patty pan, tomatoes. I just cannot wait for my tomatoes to start coming in fiercely. I've lost a couple when I came when I um, arrived today. I noticed some of my cucumbers just drop, which is called fruit drop. Look at that beautiful, look at that beautiful okra blossom. I think they have the most beautiful blossom. So yeah, so I'm starting to experience fruit drop. And that could do be to um, inconsistency in watering. Like I said, we've we've had like drought like conditions out here. It is it has been hot. So inconsistency in watering could be a mineral deficiency. I am watering everything with um, the fish emulsion, which has a high concentration of phosphorus. Because once your plants start to set bulbs, you want to increase the phosphorus intake. You know, it's beautiful. I harvested one last week that was a beautiful pink, a beautiful dark pink. So, yep. Everything is coming along as well as to as well as to be expected considering the circumstances. But hey, that comes with gardening, right? Some of the gardening woes. Critters, inconsistency in watering, you know. Inconsistent uh, you know, weather patterns. All of that comes with gardening. So that's about it. Just wanted to pop in and give you all a quick update. Now this here is a heirloom German pink. Can't wait to harvest that baby. We have a couple of heavy hitters out here. Heirloom tomatoes that can grow anywhere from one to two pounds in size. So, And we love tomatoes. 
love, 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 love tomatoes. So, yep, and there's the hose. And I just attach it to the water can and I water away. But yep, so this is the harvest, the day's harvest. Okay. I'll probably be harvesting tomatoes probably, I figure probably about another week or so. So, okay, I hope everyone is having a wonderful time gardening and enjoying your harvest and also preserving your harvest. I um, shared an update on Instagram. I have my canner and I cannot wait to start pressure canning. Actually today I will be pressure canning some potatoes that I harvested from the garden. If you missed that video, I will link it at the end of this video so you can see that epic harvest because it was an epic harvest in my book. Only 10 seed potatoes yielded that ep epic harvest. So I was really pleased with the outcome. So yeah, so have fun in your garden, preserve your garden, eat as much as you can fresh, give some away to family and friends, encourage family and friends that they too can garden, to start their own gardens and grow their own food. It is a must. It has always been a must. Self-sufficiency and living a life where you can rely on yourself to produce, whether it's your meat source, your fruit source, your vegetable source, hey, it's a beautiful thing. It's almost, um, well it is, in my book it's, a, it's an act of worship, it really is. So I encourage you to grow your own food. So welcome new subscribers, glad to have you here. If you enjoy the content, um, please press the like button, share with your family and friends, and until the next video, peace and blessings.